I'm a digital artist. Mostly in my life I've worked with sculpting, but coming late to painting, I decided to go digital. That plays to my strength because I'm a computer scientist. So what I'm endeavouring to do is use the digital art, I use an iPad, and together with the internet, I use that for sources of information. And so I'm using modern technology and I hope pushing the envelope. Postcard from Burma, how did this come about? We were on holiday in Burma or Myanmar and there was a problem about sending the normal postcards that normally is nowadays. So I decided to send a photograph from my iPad. It worked brilliantly. Later on I was perusing the internet using Christie's app and there was an auction going on in Hong Kong and there's a brilliant Chinese artist who sold I think it was four hundred thousand dollars and I liked the palette so I combined the two. That's how we arrived at Postcard from Burma. I think I favour poetry rather than prose as it's a more concise means of expressing an idea and it has elegance sort of built in. Science, the universe, existence, my tiny place within it all, I think that's probably what interests me the most. I read and was deeply moved by Fergal Keane's book about the defence of the garrison at Kohima. And also my wife's grandfather fought the Japanese in Burma. He survived, but uh, returned deeply traumatised and never really spoke about it. We can only begin to imagine what he might have witnessed. Burma. What passes beneath those flamingo skies? Transitional state, sine wave mood, military rule, human rights and wrongs. Littered, gilded pagodas, child soldiers, yours for a box of fags. Old men haunted by Kohima and your miserable road of bones. Unsullied landscape, unhurried soil, and yet your people bleed into the sea. We still cannot make out your beauty, despite Ong San Suu Kyi. Myanmar, but for your imbalance of power, you could be paradise.